You're looking at Lesson 6. Lesson 6 is a picture graph using Microsoft Office 2013 to 16. Now we've provided for you a bunch of directions and obviously also the video to assist you in doing this lesson. Now if you look carefully you'll notice at the bottom of the page we provided for you red, brown, green, blue, and yellow M&Ms. And here's the picture graph. Now in this example here, we're using M&M's red, obviously because the <laughs> label is red. And over here to the right is the format data, which we'll show you in the video. And it explains it here also. The format data we had chosen to make each picture represent two M&M's. So since if you look carefully, there's 20. So there are only 10 M&M's or two per M&M. Now over here with blue, you'll notice blue has five, so we have one, two, and a half. Hopefully that makes sense. So what you're going to have to do is download <clears throat> these colors into your computer, and then we'll show you how you can bring them up and use them in your picture graph. Now picture graphs are used quite a bit for many different things, and you'll see it makes it a lot easier to understand what the graph is about, because you're using color, and you're also using a picture to illustrate everything that is going on. So, here's what we like to have you do. You can read this and or if you're at home, watch the video and create this graph, this picture graph for yourself. And then if you're at home, you probably can print it out. Depending upon where you are, you may want to use a color printer, which would be advantageous because the graph is, is in color. But if you don't have a color printer, that's okay. Okay, uh, let's go to the spreadsheet to see exactly what we are talking about. You'll notice we are in Excel, and I'm under the Home tab. To speed things up for us in the video, I typed in the name, or you'll type in your name. Now remember, we highlighted all the way to cell C1, and click on the Merge and Center. Then we typed in red, brown, green, blue, and yellow, and the corresponding numbers from your sheet. Okay, now to make things look a little bit neater, I placed the cursor in cell A1, highlighted down all the way down to cell C6, and over here you'll notice I went to borders, all borders, and it would give us a border for everything. Okay, now the next thing we want to do is create our graph, our picture graph. To do that, very simply, I'm going to take my mouse and place it in cell A2. Hold down my left button and highlight down to cell B6. Then at the very top, I'm going to click on the word insert. Now I'm using Office 2016. Yours should be relatively close to this. You see the little icon that has the three bar graphs? Click on the down arrow, the little down arrow, and I'm going to hit 3D column. So our 3D column will appear. Now. You'll notice that we have the vertical display and the horizontal, what each one is. I'm going to click here, and let's make go back to home, and I'm going to make that bold, and let's increase the size to 10. Same thing holds true with the vertical display. I'm going to make that bold and increase that size to 10. Now, you'll notice that what we have here are some lines. Now, what I'm going to do is we have the um, horizontal lines here and the vertical values but to see this better I'm going to take my mouse place it right here and click on this line and click on the color I would like for it to be in this case black so we can see things a little bit neater okay now that we have that done we want to come up here and you want to type in your name for the chart value and then the word M&Ms so I'll just type in your name M and M's Okay, oops, M. <laughs> then I'm going to highlight it and go back to home, and I want to make this bold also. Okay, okay, now what we need to do is take each one of these and make them a specific color. To do that, what we need to do is go back to the web page and download the pictures for each one of those. Let's do that now. Now, you could have gone to the internet and went to Google and typed in uh, M&M colors and then images, but we've already provided them for you. 
here I'm going to click on this one, it's a red one, and I'm going to take my mouse and right click and hit save picture as. And when I do it says small red. You'll notice I've already done it for the rest of these, so we don't have to waste your time in seeing how we do it. Then just simply hit red and it says, oh, it's already there when I replaced it. You do the same thing, let's say with yellow, click on it and hit save picture as. And here it says small yellow and we already have that one, okay? I'm not going to save it because we've already done that. So that should be pretty easy to do. Hopefully that one made sense. Okay, here we are back in Excel. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is click on this 3D column. But you notice that they're all highlighted. And we need to click on it a second time. So only it is highlighted mm -hmm. and not those. Then upon doing so, I'm going to right click and hit down the little pail there. And you'll notice it says picture. Now the first time you do this, you're going to have to find your pictures, but the computer will remember. I'm going to click on Browse, and the first one's red, so this is a red one here, and just simply click on Insert. And now it's one big red. Wow, that can't be, right? Because what we need to do now is, is specify what that one M&M stands for. So I'm going to right-click again, and I go down Format Data Point. And when I do that, over here to the right, this little format should show up. I'm going to click on the pail. And when I do that, down here it says uh, stretch. That's where it is right now. Stack or stack and scale. I'm going to click on stack and scale. Now you can see there's a whole bunch of M&Ms. What I'm going to do is change this number from 1 to 2. So each M&M represents, oops, each M&M will represent two. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you notice there's 20 of them. Okay, let's look at brown and see how we can do the same thing with brown. Again, I'm going to click on brown. So only it is highlighted. You see that? I'm going to right click, hit on my pail, picture, click on picture. Again, we're going to browse. And I look on brown. I click on brown and hit insert. When I do that, again, it's one big stretch, but we want to change that, right? So I'm going to right-click, Format Data Point, click on my pail, and again, I'm going to hit the Stack and Scale Width. Click on that one, and we need to be consistent. If the first one's two, we better make them all two. And just simply hit your Enter key, and now it changed. Now, you'll notice that brown is 15. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 2 times 7 is 14, and we have a half of 1. That's 15. Let me do one more just to make sure you've got it. Okay, I'm going to right-click, click on my down arrow on the pail, Picture, Browse, and I want green, and click on Insert. And it's one big green, right? Okay. Now, uh, if, you, if it's not open, or brought up, you need to do this. Right click, format data point, click on the pail, stack to scale. Now remember, you have to be consistent. I'll make this one two and hit my enter key. So now we have two, four, six, eight green. And what do we have here? Two, four, six, eight. While we're doing that, let me show you a little neat trick here. I'm going to take the eight, okay, and I'm going to make that. 18. Watch what happens. It automatically adjusts for you live. Okay, I'm going to go back and leave it as 8. Hopefully that made sense. Okay, let me do the other two without you watching so we can speed this up. Okay, you'll notice we've done them all. Now, what I'd like for you to do is take your chart, move it over here to the left so it's directly underneath your spreadsheet. Okay, now Remember, if the chart's by itself, as you can see, it's highlighted. If I were to go to print, only it would print out. However, when I place the chart here and I click off of it, it is called embedded. So that means when I print out my spreadsheet, the chart will print, will print out right along with it. Now, the next thing we want you to do is go up here where it says page layout. Click on it. Page setup. Click on the little tiny down arrow and header and footer custom header. We want you to type in your name. I'll just type in your name and your grade. 
let's say eighth okay now over here to the right watch this this is pretty neat over here we have the date so I click on the number seven and the date will appear hit my spacebar twice and then click on the time then click on OK now if you want what we can do just to show you what it looks like I'm gonna click on print preview and when you do that you'll notice it shows up print preview and it's got today's date and the time and everything is all set up for you nice and neat so what you need to do here then simply is I'm gonna hit my escape key to go back you want to save this to your computer or wherever you're saving it I don't know what class I'm teaching this for so I have to be general and also if it's one of the classes I use at the printer we can hook it up or I can come over with my flash drive save it to my flash drive and we can print this out obviously if you have a color printer it comes out pretty neat because you have the colors if you don't have a color printer you're just simply going to get black and white okay hopefully all of this is easy to do now remember you are using a picture graph for M&Ms the problem is or it's not a problem but realistically you can do this for anything okay all right well thank you for watching our video that's all folks